Hello, my name is Ash. Let's talk Dragon Age. Game Informer's June issue is coming out for digital and print subscribers, but of course, one article in particular catches attention. And that's the latest on Dragon Age. Reviews editor for Game Informer Joe Juba interviewed Bioware producer Cameron Lee for more information on the game. And that information was delivered. As we know, the Inquisitor is the only known survivor of the explosion that killed a peace talk meeting between the higher-ups of the Circle of Magi and the Chantry. After literally walking out of the Fade, the Inquisitor is branded with a mark that becomes two things. One, a symbol of power, drawing those who want to work and worship the Chosen One. And two, a physical manifestation of power that can manipulate veil rifts that have spread across Thetis. The main antagonist, the one responsible for the explosion in the first place, has yet to be unveiled, as it is the Inquisitor's job to reveal this masked enemy. The Inquisitor builds the second Inquisition and uses Skyhold as a main base of operations, a customizable base, where three individuals micromanage three different facets. Those facets, which we already know as military, espionage, and trade, act like talent trees which provide benefits and upgrades to the Inquisition Army, the base, and the Inquisitor him or herself. But we kinda knew that. So let's dive into Emprise Du Lion, a fortress in the highlands of what is said to be quoted Dale, but I'm pretty sure they meant the Dales. This location is suspected as the same highlands mentioned at Pax East as it matches the same description, a snowy, mountainous region that is taken over by the Red Templars. The Inquisitor has the opportunity of freeing the villagers from slavery, forcing the Red Templars out, and recovering the area for the Inquisition. The Red Templar base will cover a wide range of this mountain. Red crystals litter the landscape as a result of Templars dabbling in raw red lyrium after invading the mountain. The landscape is cold and weary. In the exception of the red crystals, the landscape is untouched. Frigid, powdery snow, icicles hanging off the chains. Whoever the original makers of the fortress were, they put emphasis on making the building sturdy despite the horrible elements. Beyond the Emprise du Lion is what the article calls an ancient elven coliseum. However, this is rather curious considering the dragon's immediate area in this picture. Do you recognize the statues? On the right, that is an enlarged statue of Maferath, the mortal Avarian husband of Andraste, the center of the Chantry and its teachings. On the left, the statue is not exactly discernible. However, there is a good chance that that statue, judging by the leg and stance, is Havard, one of Andraste's most loyal disciples and Maferath's lifelong friend. In the world of Thetis, the Maferath statue itself is claimed as Orlesian. What is an Orlesian statue, an Andraste enchantry statue, doing in a place of ancient elven ruins? Andraste and the Elves fought only a couple of centuries before the Divine Age. The time when Elves ruled Thetis dated back millennia before then. In any case, the conflicting statement between Orlesian statues and the fact that it is an Elven Colosseum will hopefully make more sense in Inquisition. And a last warning, the world is big. If you're a completionist, prepare thyself this October. Bioware does not expect you to discover everything in the first playthrough, but bring snacks if you want to try. If you'd like to get your own copy of Game Informer, a link to buy your own digital subscription is in the description. I also highly suggest their Dragon Age Inquisition hub from last year, though it is a little bit dated compared to all the information that has released as of late. The hub offers a look behind the scenes at Bioware, so highly suggest it. In any case, that is all I have for you this time around. Thank you for watching. Please leave your positive or negative comments in the box below. My name is Ash. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.